everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the honeycomb smock stitch. Now sometimes it's just referred to as the honeycomb, sometimes it's just referred to as a smock stitch. So I've included both in the title. This is a very interesting stitch to work. It has an interesting texture and it is a very thick stitch. It's quite thick. Uh, the texture, honeycomb texture is all on the one side. On the back, you have something that resembles a moss stitch, uh, but it's these spike stitch pattern. It's also very pretty. Uh, that's the back, and that's the front. So I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch in a project, or if you have used it before, and don't, and don't forget to say hello down in the comments. For the tutorial today, I'm going to be using a little bit of Pima Cotton Yarn by Lion Brand. It's a 100% cotton yarn as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. You can find the direct link to the written pattern that's free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Check out some of the other stitch tutorials. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch uh, tutorial and then throughout the week as well with free crochet patterns. Our stitch today is worked in rows so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. For your foundation chain you will need an even number of stitches so uh, a multiple of two. Today I'm going to be chaining 20. Once you have an even number of chains worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to single crochet into that first stitch. The chain one does not count as a stitch. And then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. For row three, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch followed by a long single crochet or sometimes called a spiked single crochet into or under the next stitch two rows below. So we're going to be working actually back into the foundation chain over top of the next stitch down into your foundation chain. Insert your hook yarn over, draw up a loop to the height of your single crochet, yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to single crochet in the next stitch and long single crochet over the next. Once again working into that foundation chain. Every time you're working these stitches you should be skipping, skipping one stitch in between single crochet into your next stitch followed by a long single crochet over the next single crochet in the next repeat that all the way across at the end of row three you're going to chain one and turn your work for row four going to begin by working a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. So into the first stitch, single crochet and single crochet into the next. You're now going to work a front post single crochet over the next stitch. When you work this front post single crochet, you're going to be inserting your hook under the leg of the first long single crochet. So insert your hook under the long single crochet just one side of it. Across 
under the next side of the next long single crochet. Okay, so I have two long single crochets. I'm going to insert my hook under the second leg, I guess it is, of that first one, and then under the first leg of the next. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to, uh, skipping that um, sing the single crochet kind of in behind, you're just going to single crochet into the next stitch. You're then going to work another front post single crochet stitch, working it the same way, working under the two long bars of your long single crochet stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of row four, you have two single crochets left. You're going to simply single crochet into each of those final two stitches. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For row five, you're going to begin by working a long single crochet under the single crochet stitch two rows below. So here's my first stitch, my second stitch, under that stitch, work a long single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch and then work a long single crochet over the next and into the stitch two rows below. So you see your first stitch here and then this is your second stitch. You're going to insert your hook under that second stitch. When you insert it you want to make sure that on the opposite side your hook is coming through in between or through the center of the V, if you can kind of see that there. Okay, so your hook needs to come through the center of that V. Yarn over, drop your loop to the height of the single crochet and yarn over and pull through. You're going to repeat that all the way across, single crochet into the next stitch, long single crochet under the next stitch or over the next stitch under the single crochet two rows below and single crochet into the next stitch. Always make sure you're coming through the center of your V stitch when you're working that long stitch. Repeat that all the way across. When you come across at the end of your row five, you're going to finish off with a long single crochet over that final stitch. Then chain one and turn your work. For row six, we're going to single crochet into this first stitch followed by a front post single crochet over the next. Once again, you're going to be gathering the post of that first long single crochet and the first half of the post of the next long single crochet. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Single crochet into your next stitch. And once again, front post single crochet around those two legs of your long single crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across. At 
at the end of row six, you chain one and turn your work. And that brings you to the end of the repeats in this pattern. So for the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat rows three, four, five, and six for as long as you would like. So your row three began with a single crochet into the first stitch followed by your long single crochet into the next, making sure you're working through that V and then single crochet into the next and repeat all the way across. So that was your row three. So jump back up to your row three, repeat rows three, four, five, and six for as long as you would like, fasten off, weave in your ends. And that's how you work the honeycomb smock stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy uh, crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.